Now let's start off with the case that absolutely makes no sense. Not even a little. Usually when I think about how those nasty ugly smelly men were rigging the lineup, they probably planned to give people that they wanted in the lineup the most screen time, right? So how does the girl, who probably even got more screen time than Chewo, get eliminated so damn quickly? They gave her decent screen time and yet rigged her out. Sick if you ask me. Ko Yujin had everything. She had amazing dance skills and the ultimate idol aura. Nobody stood out as much as she did, yet those producers didn't want her in the lineup. The song rumor was made for her. It was originally called the Ko Yujin song did you know that? Even the choreographer was about to cry when he saw her being eliminated. Like my queen deserved so much more. She was rigged out of Lunar, rigged out of Produce 48 and then rigged out of 8D's upcoming new girl group. These companies are sick. Now she gave up on being an idol and instead decided to become a YouTuber. The little clip you just saw right now, was freestyle by the way. I hope you all know that. Funny personality, super talented, amazing rapper, left the trainers in shock. She was robbed of screen time, as expected, yet stood out. I would go as far and say that she could become the next hit girl of Korea, the BAE Suzy, if her company wasn't horrible and out of budget. Anyways she debuted as a member of Fanatics, which sadly isn't doing too well. Unfortunately, Miss Cho Yeo only made noise with the first evaluation and slowly started becoming less visible in the show. The trainers were invisible with her dance skills and the fact that her vocals were always so steady while dancing. My poor girl even had to dye her hair red to be seen. Her hands up performance gave her a little bit of cloud but other than that she was for a long time only known as the fire ride girl. For me she was one of my top favorite pick but Mnet did her dirty. Let's look forward to her debut with Say this year, alongside with Sun Yunki who I love too, by the way. Oh lord, when M. Net put her against Go Yujin for the 30th place. My heart quite literally skipped a beat. Now I was so happy for Mew but like my heart broke for Yujin. Anyways back to Mew. Every single person on that damn rigged show acknowledged Mew's crazy skills. So would constantly praise her vocal abilities and her control. Dance trainer Yoon Jeong would praise her for her hard work. She literally helped rearrange songs on the show, like the truth untold by BTS. She is everything a group ever needs. But Mnet hated her for whatever reason. I will never forget when they didn't focus the camera on Mew during her high note. And all the evil editing that made her look selfish. I don't even have much to say because she was eliminated the very first round. However, she looks like Sunmi, she performs amazingly, she pulled off a cute and a girl crush concept and now she is under MNHAKA Chunga's company. All I know is that she definitely needed more screen time than what she got. Now look I might be extremely biased with this one but I really do not care. Sai is an idol. She can perform. And she is stunning. Hello, she is literally the best looking person I have ever seen. Anyways. The lineup riggers didn't pick her as expected but it's their loss. She stole the show twice. First during the Mamma Mia performance and then with the hand claps performance. And it was just a wink. Like if you think about it she is really powerful. You were dying in the body. With her I could actually copy paste the same paragraph I just wrote for Sai. Instead watch this. You were dying in the body, yes. Oh. Oh, that is. Oh.